Hello, prospective families and students of 81st Street School. My name is Kiana DeRoja and I am the very proud principal and leader of 81st Street School. And I would like to take this time to welcome you to our 2022-2023 Kindergarten Fair. I am honored to share with you the wonderful program that we have here at 81st Street School. 81st Street School is a kindergarten through fifth grade school programs. We offer weekly specials in physical education, art and music for K4 and beyond. We offer personalized learning and special education programming. We also offer PBIS behavioral intervention strategies for all of our students. We offer educational field trips, after school programming through the CLC Boys and Girls Club, and we also host the Sparks Literacy Program. Along with all of this, we have one of the best early childhood programs in the city. Beginning with our regular education K-3 program that services 40 students each school year. Our K-3 program is the last of its kind in our district offering AM and PM sessions each school day. Early childhood students at 81st Street School have two classrooms per grade level for K-4 and K-5. 81st Street School has a continuum of special education services that begin to be offered at the early childhood level. We have resources and trained staff in early childhood special education program that are servicing our students with disabilities. We also have the continuum of services for um, students with autism. Our early childhood team here at 81st Street School lays the foundation for learning to come at 81st Street School. Please take a close listen as early childhood teachers from 81st Street School share information with you. We look forward to speaking with you at the fair and answering any questions you may have about 81st Street School. Again, I am Ms. Kiana DeRojai, the proud leader of 81st Street School, and we welcome you and your early childhood students for the 2022-2023 school year. Hi, I'm Amy Hendricks. I teach K-3 at 81st Street School. Here at 81st, the K-3 program is half day, so I just wanted to share with you what a typical day in K-3 might look like. Once everyone has arrived, we clean up and then we transition to the carpet for whole group instruction. During whole group, we take attendance, we do calendar, weather, we'll do a daily message. Then we take a bathroom break. We'll come back and do music and movement activities. We'll also do some mindfulness breathing. And then I'll read a story typically related to the theme that we're learning about that week. Then the children go to the table and they independently work during small group. And while they're working, we are walking around and monitoring and assisting as needed. When they finish up, they transition back to the carpet where they look at books independently while everyone else finishes up their work. And once everyone's finished, then it's time for free choice. And the children use a choice board to choose where they'd like to play for the day. And the centers in the classroom are blocks, dramatic play, table toys, writing, art, dollhouse, light table, listening center, computer station, science area, and a sensory table. When free choice is over, then it's time for snack. And then after snack, it is time for dismissal. So we get our coats and backpacks and we get ready to go home. It is a fast paced, three hour day filled with learning and fun and questions and inquiry. So we hope that you choose 81st as your school and we look forward to seeing you in the fall. Hi, my name is Mary Weinberger and I'm one of the K-4 teachers here at 81st Street School. One of the areas of learning we focus on is STEM science, technology, engineering, and math. We incorporate all of these components within our daily curriculum, starting in our K-3 program. Our young students learn to explore and discover on the very first day of school, and it continues through their learning in fifth grade. 
They learn early on the parts of the scientific method as they play or experiment and explore with many various materials like magnifying glasses and magnets and blocks, as well as participate in structured activities like sink and float, color mixing, freeze and melt, and so on. The children are learning to question, make guesses, problem solve, see results, and make conclusions. Their skills in all areas of development are enriched through all of the hands-on exploration, repetition, and real-world experiences. As they explore, they improve their literacy skills as they write and draw about what they see and learning. As they use rulers, they're learning about measurement and numbers. And as they play with the scale, they're learning about cause and effect. As they build with blocks, they're also learning about sizes and even sharing. So many skills are learned through STEM activities. Children also use and have access to technology every day through using Chromebooks and a smart board. The younger children work on educational platforms like Seesaw, Raz Kids, Starfall, and older students have been using programs like Pear Deck, Jamboard, as well as working on even coding and typing skills. We can't wait to see you dive into learning at 81st Street School, where we are family. Hi, I'm Miss Jones, a four-year-old kindergarten teacher here at 81st Street School. I'm here today to tell you a little bit about our program. And one of the programs that we implement is STEM. My co-teacher is talking about the S and the T. I'm going to talk about the E and the M, the engineering and the math. In engineering, we use in our independent um, tables that we use during our work time. We have one group that is working with the teacher, and we have three independent groups. And we might set it up and explain to the students what we're doing, what they can do, um, but the most important thing is that it's open-ended, nothing is right or wrong, they're problem-solving, it's all hands-on, it's lots of good stuff for four-year-olds. And one example would be giving them a bag of marshmallows and um, toothpicks. And I could show them you could make shapes and have them make shapes. Or I might say, all right, create a uh, snowflake and they could try and create a snowflake. Or I might say, let's try some letters. So we're not only doing engineering, we're also doing literacy. And developing their map reading skills as well as their fine motor and all in the engineering category. I could also say, all right, here are some ice drops. Can you stack these ice drops? How many did you get to stand up before they fell over? Could you create a shape? Um, can you make pictures? Whatever it might be. So they're exploring it. And that leads into math. Because with the ice drops, you could say, well, how many are you going to use? You could also say, put them into groups of three. Put them into groups of five. Or we could give them some mittens. All right. Let's put them in order, from the biggest to the smallest, or the smallest to the biggest. Does your hand fit in one of them? And have them try. Let's measure them. We can measure them using our um, erasers. And how long, or how many erasers, how many penguins long is your mitten? So there's lots of different ways we can incorporate STEM into our daily program. And those are just a few. Thank you. Hello, well, thank you so much for visiting 81st Street School. We really hope you consider us for the fall for your little one. And I am one of our K-5 teachers. My name is Miss Ludwig, and I've been teaching for MPS for 25 years. 20 of those years have been at 81st Street School. And I stay because I love it. And we all have a common goal to help your children in any way we can to teach them and help them grow and learn. So one thing I wanted to share with you is how we communicate with our families. That's super important to us, to make sure that you're informed on what we're doing at school, how your child is doing at school. So every Tuesday we send home a Tuesday folder. Inside the folder you'll get some information from our principal, you'll get his newsletter, you'll often get things from our nurse on staying healthy, um, on mental health, um, just tips to help you out. We often send things home like tips on reading with your child or um, just helping them in any way that you can. 
We put in our school calendar, our school lunch calendar, anything that we need you to know for the week. Many of our teachers also put in their homework in their Tuesday folder. That's what I do. Um, this is some virtual work that I have, but this is pretty much what I use during the school year as well. So what I like to do is make sure that I'm sending things home that we're working on. So you can see, you can see the words that we're working on. You can see, this is a little book that we work on. We do work on one of these each week. It goes with our reading series. And we work on it in the classroom. We circle words we know, we practice reading, and that'll go home in the Tuesday folder. And then the kids can read it to you. They can keep it at home in their in their home library, they can practice a lot. So please let us know if you have any other questions for us or if we can help you in any way. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Miss Curry and I'm the Early Childhood Special Education teacher over at 81st Street School. I serve as children in the grades K3, K4, and K5. And in my classroom, they get the opportunity to learn the regular education curriculum with the extra support that they need. That support could be extra prompting or cues from another adult. It could be the extra supervision that they need. It could be the literally hands-on experience that they need to build the skills to develop some independence as well as that academic growth. I encourage you to look at 81st Street School when you're thinking of your special education needs. And I welcome you and your family to visit us.